Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Esmond Prince has finally realized she is an awful person. Esmond returns to Spoon Island and reclaims all her lost memories, especially the bad ones, according to the General Hospital recap for Friday, December 22, 2023. In this episode, Cyrus played a prank on Nina, Molly and TJ found an egg donor, and Gregory asked Brooke Lynn for a significant favor. Let's delve a little deeper into the details now. Spencer's Christmas wish of spending time with Ace was granted, but not in the way he had hoped. Instead of seeing him at Esmond's, she delivered the boy to him. He thought it was unusual, but Laura thought it was a beautiful gesture. Spencer was correct. Esmond was planning something. She went to Windermere to look around. She discovered the room where Nicholas had held her hostage and her memories flooding back. They're all of them. Being imprisoned, devising an escape plan, filming Joss and Cam, Spencer calling her out, and nearly killing Liz are among topics that she discusses. She collapsed to the ground, exhausted. Sonny was also reflecting on the past. He and his family went to church to make a gift and burn candles in memory of those who had died. Sonny and Michael taught little Wiley about the value of remembering people who have died, such as Uncle Morgan and Uncle Jason. Willow and Nina talked about Nell on the sidelines. After everyone had left, Nina remained and lighted a candle in memory of her daughter. She also chose to visit the confessional while she was there. Cyrus overheard and took the priest's place, unbeknownst to her. Happenings during the holidays. Carly and Donna, on the other hand, were overjoyed to be joined by Joss, Adam and Dex. The visit, however, didn't linger long because Carly whisked Donna away for the hospital celebrations. Joss asked Adam about going home for the holidays after they had departed. She even offered to cover the cost. Unsurprisingly, he declined her offer. Adam became agitated when she pushed. He didn't want to return home. He then flew away. Sam and Dante briefed Alexis about Drew's plans for Scout at her house. Scout was also opposed to changing schools. Alexis comprehended both perspectives. At the same time, Molly TJ and Pristina discussed the egg donation offer. It was plainly significant and had the potential to alter the surrogacy dynamic. They first and foremost required time. However, it appears that there isn't much time. Jordan later arrived as well. She arrived in time to hear TJ and Molly accept. Pristina will not only be their surrogate, but she will also have a biological connection to the kid. Yay. As they talked about Irene, the Ashford home was filled with love and memories. However, things became awkward between Marshall and Stella. It appears that their encounter on the patio shook them to their core. Fortunately, the family didn't have to wait long before heading to the hospital. Before going to greet his family, Finn practiced reading aloud at GH. Gregory Chase and Brooke Lynn arrived with Leo. When Gregory begged to speak with BLQ alone, Finn, Chase, and Liz rushed the kids away to see the tree. He had a major request for her. It was his Christmas wish to see his son's marriage. Can she promise not to make you wait too long? Soon after, the who's who of Port Charles and his children gathered to hear Laura and Finn read The Night Before Christmas. What a year can do for Trina Robinson and Spencer Cassadine. General Hospital spoilers for December 26, 2023, reveal that the characters are still celebrating the holidays. What are the presents in question? A lot of A-list drama and love. You don't want to miss out on what's shaping up to be a spectacular holiday episode. Last Christmas, Spencer had just gotten out of jail, and Trina was still reeling from Rory's death. Now, as we approach the holiday season, the two are in a much better place. They obviously still have challenges and obstacles, but they're together and happy. And their relationship has progressed significantly. They had that fantastic weekend in New York, and they're clearly in love. Furthermore, Spencer is genuinely attempting to make peace rather than war with Trina's mother. Portia is still irritated with her daughter's boyfriend, 
but at least they were able to fix the Christmas lights without too much fuss. Now it's time for them to celebrate as a couple on what will undoubtedly be a magical Christmas Eve. Grandma Nina is hoping not to be run over by a reindeer this Christmas, in contrast to Spencer and Trina's delight and good tidings. Why? Because Sammy's troublemaking wife is looking for forgiveness. Does this mean her secret leaking is now public knowledge? And from whom is Nina asking forgiveness? At this moment, it appears that her new year will be spent. Meanwhile, Sonny may be distracted because he and Laura are looking for answers. If these two groups in Port Charles are banding together, it must be because of Cyrus. Sonny continues to inform Laura that he does not believe her ex-con half-brother is to blame for Austin's death. But knowing the born-again criminal, his hands aren't completely clean. Sonny and Laura are hoping for a Christmas miracle to solve Cyrus's mystery once and for all. Unfortunately, it appears like Eva's holidays will be filled with anxiety, paranoia, and several nasty martinis. Someone has been sending her photographs of a dead Austin and has hidden a gun in her drawer. She's finally told Sonny about these events, but this person understands how to approach her in the most inconspicuous of ways. Is this individual making another move when Ava is suddenly alerted? Is Esm creeping and slithering around Port Charles again if she's about to be caught, as the teasers suggest? Is someone aware that her memories are resurfacing? A year has passed since she jumped from the Windermere Tower. Her life has developed beautifully since then, and now, bam, things are set to shift once more. Is Esm content with these glimpses of memory? Or is she filled with dread at the prospect of their return? Mornings on Soap Hub are for discussion or wild speculation about General Hospital's current stories, where they're heading, how they're doing, and sometimes just what we're expecting to see in Port Charles in the near future. The attractive GA star had some exciting news to share. John J. York, who has played Max Scorpio on General Hospital since 1991, recently underwent a potentially life-saving blood stem cell transplant. He has now provided an update for followers who have been wondering how things are going. The actor debuted his new look and demonstrated his sense of humor in a video posted to his official X account. Well, hello, everyone. It's me, and I'm checking in, but wait a second, I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering why Max shaved his beard. My beard was not shaved. I actually shaved the few bits of hair that remained. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on how things are going, he added. They're actually doing quite well. Everything is still in the early phases for me. I have a long journey ahead of me, but the test findings are promising. The actor was diagnosed with multiple smoldering myeloma and myelodysplastic syndromes. I'm really feeling good, he said. Hopefully, if things continue as they are, I'll be back on the show late spring, early summer. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your comments and messages of support, encouragement, and love that you sent my way. Every day, I feel your hugs, for which I am grateful. And that's all there is to it. So, one day at a time, one day at a time, we'll get this done. The actor then delivered a message of hope to everyone. In the meantime, I wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas with your family and friends and loved ones. I wish you all a prosperous, healthy, and happy New Year. And for luck, he said, scratching his head, how about some luck? Put some luck into it. Okay, have a Merry Christmas. Everyone should have a Happy New Year. You may see it for yourself below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.